and things are not going uh, our way, um, things like that happen. And you know, you come here, it's a difficult place to come to, and uh, Clark has not made a, I can't remember him making a save. And we had some good, good moments in the game. We, we created two or three good chances from the wayside, um, and it was an improvement on Monday night's performance. So uh, it can be cruel sometimes this game. I think on the balance of it, I thought we were the best side all day, and uh, had large periods of the ball. Second half, created some great chances towards the end, and like I say, absolutely devastated that, that we've lost in, in that sort of way. Seven games to go, trying to be successful, and getting to playoffs, and we've been beaten away from home. It's never nice. Um, absolute freak goal. Um, won't ever happen again. I'm pretty sure that as long as I've been watching football, I've never seen anything like it. Um, obviously, when things are going against you, things like that happen. Um, it's hard to take. There's a change room in there of 25 people that work at Foxwood United with players and staff, and uh, everyone's absolutely devastated. Um, it's not for show either. People, when they're coming off, we've obviously cut the fans to show our support. Um, because we're as, we're as gutted as they are. They want to be successful and so do we. So um, brush ourselves down Monday to Friday and hopefully uh, go again on Saturday. So we've got, it's important we, we don't keep our heads down. We've, we've got a massive amount of games to, to, to come and, and we know we need to perform better than, than what we did and, and hopefully try and get, get that little bit of luck and win games. You know, there was moments in the game um, that we could have been more clinical, but uh, the moment that really saw us off was that 89th minute goal against us.